In this video, I'm talking about this hilarious big googly eyes effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So before we jump into Adobe After Effects and start to complete this big eyes, bubble eyes effect, we first just want to make sure we have the right footage. So first of all, you want to make sure that you're not moving around too much because we're going to be doing some motion tracking. And if you're moving around everywhere, it's gonna make life difficult. Also, try not to move your head around too much. Try and keep your face angled towards the camera or just angled in one specific direction. If you're moving around like this, it's really gonna make this process difficult. So as you'll see in my example, I'm not moving around too much. There's a little bit of movement, but it's still quite still. And I'm always keeping my face towards the camera. So once you have that footage and you're inside of Adobe After Effects, as you can see, this is what I'm working with. I'm looking around, I'm moving a little bit, but not too much. The first step is to actually track the face. So rather than tracking the eyeball, I feel like that's gonna be really difficult. I'm actually gonna track another point on the face. Now I'm being quite expressive with my eyebrows, so there's no point on tracking the eyebrows because there's a bit of movement there. Instead, I'm probably gonna track my nose. I feel like that is gonna be the best solution here. So click that layer. We'll go into Tracker on the right of After Effects. And if you're not seeing that, then go to Window and select Tracker. Then you want to go ahead and select Track Motion. And you'll find a tracking point. So just expand that a little bit, move that up and place that at a point where there is high levels of contrast. So in my example, I'm going on the nostril because it's shadowy, therefore it's dark in the nostril and then it's light on the outside. So that should give me a good read. I'm also going to activate rotation and add the second tracking point just there. But you'll notice I've already gone a little bit wrong and I've just added this in halfway through the motion. So I'm going to pull that back to zero. I'll reset those tracking points to make sure they're in the nostril this time. And then I can just press play and then it's going to analyze forward. Now, as you'll see, this is doing a good job at animating that. But if for some reason it falls out and let's say one of the tracking points goes all the way up here, then you just want to stop, go back and just make an adjustment. But mine did a great job. So from there, I'm just going to go layer, new, null object, and then edit target. Make sure the apply motion to a layer is the null object that we just created. Press apply and the apply dimension should be X and Y. Now I'm going to go into effects and presets go into distort and there's loads of different ways of doing this effect but i'm going to go in to bulge so i'll drop bulge on to my video clip and as you can see we've got this circle here i'm just going to go and move the bulge center that is this option on top of my eyeball and as you can see we've already got this big eye effect now i'm just going to increase the horizontal radius and that should just essentially be covering the eye now, from here, we want to go into bulge height and increase the bulge height. Then we want to go into the taper radius and just feel free to adjust that. That's just going to bring that in a little bit. So have a play with that. Find the number that you're happy with. And of course, feel free to make any other adjustments as well here. So just have a play with these settings to the point where you're happy. So once you are happy with the look of that and you're happy with how this is coming together, we can now go into that video layer. We'll go to effects, go to bulge. Then you just want to find bulge center. So that is this position. Then we'll go over till we find the pit whip tool, which is here. You want to select that and drag that onto the position keyframes on the null object. So as you'll see, that is now tracked, but the problem is this has now moved and that is because our null object is down here. So we'll just go to the beginning, we'll select all of the keyframes on the null object and we'll just move the null over to the left eye or my right eye until it is back in the position that it was in. And now when we play this back, because we had all of those keyframes selected, that should stay in place and the movement should be there. Yep, that's doing exactly what it should be doing. Now, in order to get that on the other eye, we need to create another null object. So we'll go layer, new, null object. We'll scroll through to the very beginning, select transform on null one and copy, so command C. Then we'll go onto null two and paste. So you'll see we've got the position and rotation points there. Highlight all of those at the very beginning of your video and then just move the position over to the right. 
Now from there, we're gonna go back into effects and presets, drop bulge back onto the original video clip. And we're just going to adjust all of these settings again. So we'll put the bulge center on the eye. Feel free to adjust these settings as we want to. If you wanted to literally just copy the numbers from above. And this is what we end up with. And then we're just gonna do the same thing again. So we'll go bulge two. We'll go to bulge center, drag the pit whip tool all the way up. The problem is we can't see this. So we need to expand this up. So go to null two, go to position, bulge center. We're going to use the pit whip tool, drag that up into position on null two. And now that should be tracked. But again, if the movement doesn't quite match, select all of the keyframes on null two and then move the null object into position. So now all we need to do is just render this out, play this back, and we should have this really awesome and quite hilarious bobble eyes effect. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And if you wanted to watch any more After Effects tutorials, then please do click this playlist just up here. See you in a future video.